where is the 2022 San Jose real estate market going? Well, stay tuned because we are in unprecedented times. Hello there, and thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to discuss some historical metrics of the San Jose real estate market, review the ebbs and flows over time, and talk about the market conditions that I am seeing right now. You want to stay tuned because we've got some great essential data. If you stick to the end, I'm going to give you my forecast, talk about the condo market, and give you some tips to work in this market. Okay, so now let's look at the screen here. In front of me, I have the Santa Clara County chart. I like to start with this chart because it goes all the way back to 2000 to get a really nice historical perspective. So again, the Silicon Valley market continues to be strong, but there are several market metrics that are really showing how strong and unprecedented this market is. If you look here at the yellow line, the yellow line is our supply or inventory. It is the lowest ever on market, lowest ever. Let me say that again. In December 2021, we ended with an inventory even lower than December 2017, which was our record on the books completely. So we are beat the lowest inventory record ever. That is partially what is fueling this crazy market. As of January 7th, 2022, we have 195 single family homes on the market. So that market or the inventory is just still so super low. And let's put the demand in perspective. The demand is huge. We sold 11,158 single family homes in 2021. That's almost two times what was sold in 2017. And it's a 23% increase from 2020. Okay, if you look at the market here at the end of 2017, early 2018 with a very low inventory, come up here to prices and look at that. We have a huge price spike in that early spring part of 2018. We experienced something very similar in the beginning of 2021, but inventory was not as low as it is today. So, hmm, I think history is telling us we're gonna see a big price increase yet again. And if we're talking about the significance of the amount of demand that we have, of course this is gonna happen. This is not gonna stop and these price increases are not gonna stop until we get more inventory in this market. So let's boil the data down to just San Jose. In the field, I'm seeing 15 plus offers still on homes. We have very limited options still with December 2021 ending with 88 homes on the market when our record before that was 99 in December 2017. And on January 7th, we've had a slight tick up to 91 single family homes on the market. So the supply will likely improve, in, but probably not till February, March, while the demand was gonna take a while to settle because we've just got so much pent up demand with the number of sales that have been happening and the number of offers that are happening. So let's look here at the stats. The prices, like I said, will continue to increase. And unlike typical seasonal trends, in December, we saw really strong market in December, 2021. Now the sales are down. You would expect that because that is kind of seasonal. They're down month over month, but a little more year over year because actually December 2021 was our recent peak for sales in San Jose. But look at the year over year price increase, 23% on average price increase in San Jose areas. Just phenomenal for one year. So the key takeaways are, again, we are in a very strong seller's market, but again, unprecedented like I talked about. 83% of single family homes are in contract. We've never seen that high a percentage ever. The average since 2003 is 42%, so significantly more than typical. And last month we were at 80, which was a record as well, but we're beating it yet again. And that's again, inventory is down, pending sales are down seasonally, but inventory is down because of the season. So the average is 12% over asking what that's huge it's so amazing so let's look at our forecast that's probably all where you're really interested in wondering what's going on so our demand of course is staying strong prices i expect to jump up in the new year like we talked about experts say the average is going to be a five percent national appreciation in 2022 i think in silicon valley we're going to see more than that probably like a 10 percent or maybe eight percent after we average out from the year but i do think in the beginning of the year we're going to see a really strong strong price increase and then maybe some softening. Just like here in 2017, huge increase 
held for a few minutes and then softened. I don't think it's gonna soften this much, but it really depends on the number of homes that come on the market as well as what interest rates do because those factors affect the demand and the number of offers on a property as well as the affordability. Now, if you wanna look back and kind of wonder when in 2021 should I have bought a house, actually the best time to buy was August. That's when the prices slowed down for a little bit. I think that was because everyone was worried about getting the kids back to school and there was a little bit of lull between summer and uh, the fall time. So if we look back at numbers, December 2017 to May 2018, which was the peak, was a 15% increase. I would not be surprised if we see that again this spring. And then maybe it softens, say, 5% for ending at the year over year at about a 10% increase. So a lot more modest than what we saw in 2021 with a 23% increase. So my tip for you, if you're looking to buy, be really strong in January, be willing to pay a little extra money in January because you know what? You're gonna make it up really quickly in the following months and you should be planning, if you're buying a house, to stay there for five to seven years to weather other storms. You should check out that video. I'll link it above where I talk about when is the best time to buy? Really, it's about when is the best time to sell. So that's the most important factor here. Get in the market so you can start building equity. Now let's look at the interest rates. They're just hovering around 3% or so, and they're expected to slowly increase. Um, expert opinions vary, but here's a chart. I'm gonna say the average of all the different experts say about 3.5 or a little bit more to expect it to increase. So that affordability is gonna get a little bit more difficult. Another reason to be really strong in January and get into a house now. Now let's look at the stock market and the home prices. As I traditionally follow, these tend to follow each other in Silicon Valley and stock market is doing well. So another indicator that prices are gonna go up again. Unemployment continues to drop and is pretty good at 3.2%. So now let's focus on the condo market. The condo market is a little bit different and was not quite as strong last year as it was in the single family market. We actually had a lot more inventory. It wasn't record low inventory, but you know what? We ended at record low inventory and the sales held really strong throughout the fall. So I do expect the condo market to really increase in value in the spring as well, because we just, again, no supply here and we had really strong sales. So in 2021, there was 5,277 condos and townhomes sold with the last several years only being in the mid 3,000. So significantly more sales again in 2021 than um, previous years. So that demand is really strong. So next, why don't you watch my most affordable neighborhoods in San Jose to know where you can get in and also buying a house five secrets to get your offer accepted fast because you wanna get in that market in January and get uh, your interest rate locked in and get your price locked in. Thanks for watching.